Sure. So it's likewise. Roberts. Thank you. Thank you, Chair, and, and thank you all for attending today. During the last election, Mr Rogers, the Australian Electoral Commission released data showing how many votes had been cast in each pre-poll voting centre each day. This data was then widely reported by the media. Can you please tell me how that data was arrived at? Was it names marked off a roll, ballot papers handed out? Uh, Senator Kath Gleeson, um, the, to be clear, you're asking where the results that are shown on the AC's virtual tally room for each polling place, uh, where, that, where those numbers are During derived? During pre-poll, yes. So those figures are derived after the first count is done. Uh, the person in charge of the count phones the figures through to an operator or enters them into an AEC system and they are automatically transferred through to the virtual tally room, which is displayed on the uh, AEC's Senator website. Thomas, are you asking about during polling and pre-poll? Pre so when pre you're told uh, how many people have voted to date. Apologies, um, Senator. The, the figures during polling come from electronic certified lists. So in a pre-poll voting centre, electors are marked off the roll using an, an electronic list, it's not a paper list. And that information is transferred directly um, to the AEC systems and provided in, in okay. close to real time. How accurate then is the figure you published during that pre-polling? The figure is accurate for the number of electors marked off, but there is a reconciliation process that occurs at the end to ensure that there are no uh, inadvertent or accidental marks if someone may be uh, marked off the roll incorrectly. Mm. Okay. On the downloads and statistics 2022 page on your website, there's a file named SA1 Vote Statistics. <laughs> it's produced apparently after the election to show how many people were marked off an electoral roll, which you calculate by scanning the marks on the voter rolls. This is the official figure for votes cast and is a, correct, if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but is a very accurate figure. Just to... There are two separate issues at play here, Senator. You're talking about pre-poll. I'm pretty sure every pre-poll centre used an electronic certified list, not a paper list. Mm -hmm. The paper lists um, are used uh, in a large number of polling places on the day, uh, not in pre-poll. So no, but how many people were marked off? Uh, the, the file SA1 vote statistics produced after the election shows how many people were marked off an electoral roll. Uh, Senator, that file includes the mark off from paper certified lists as well. So those are scanned in in the weeks after polling day and that is merged then with the electronic certified list data to give us the final number of electors who voted okay. and were marked off. Let me understand more then. On the, also on the download page is the votes cast at pre-poll file which we spoke about at the opening. The two data sets, the pre-poll votes cast and the pre-poll votes counted don't have to line up because the votes cast also include absentee votes, declaration votes, etc., that are recorded separately. Can you give me an accounting, please, of the 2.5 million pre-poll votes, 5 million were from, for the booth in which they were cast, 560,000 were absentee or, or for other electorates and so on. It seems to me this is a lot of votes that move around columns without explaining the accounting. Uh, yeah, look... Uh, we want to know what's done, what's, what's Yeah, sure. I, let's take that on notice, Senator. But I just, I do point out that, um, particularly in pre-poll, Australians um, have a habit of voting all over Australia. It's one of the, one of the yeah. marks of the Australian electoral system that, uh, during pre-poll voting, Australians are largely able to vote anywhere in Australia, and that quite often uh, accounts for those figures. OK, thank you. <clears throat> Did you audit the voter rolls you scanned to produce SA1 file for signs of marks being rubbed out to cover up votes being lost? Well, hang on. It, yes, we we do Thank you. a qual Senator, I'm answering. We do a quality assurance process for that. But there is, if I if I heard the latter part of your question, <coughs> which was to cover up votes being lost, I reject that out of hand. If that's if that was what I heard, is, is that was, was that part not, of not not I'm not implying that view, but but is that possible? <coughs> no. Okay. Um, we do a full accounting of that process, and we do a quality assurance process. Thank you. Did you audit to ensure every ballot box seal was accounted for? Um, that is an inherent part of the electoral process, Senator. So, yes. That is an inherent part of the electoral process. Yes. Senator. OK. Thank you. So, moving on, my head office, or party office, has been in contact with the Australian Electoral Commission regarding the Cowper electorate 
and I circulated that data for everyone. At the Port Macquarie West Cowper pre-poll voting centre, our One Nation candidate, Faye, originally received zero votes out of 5,245 votes cast. After she phoned the local Australian Electoral Commission, uh, Faye was advised the Australian Electoral Commission had found two votes and two is now her official tally. Mr Rogers, in whose universe can a candidate phone the AEC and ask for more votes and get them? Have I been, you know, have we doing, been doing this wrongly? Uh, well, let me put aside the pejorative uh, comment that you've made there and focus on the question. I might get Dr Gleeson to talk through <coughs> this specific issue that occurred uh, in that polling place. And I might also, by way of context, Senator, point out that we are using a manual system involving 17 million electors, 60 million ballot papers, and uh, you know, 8,000 polling places and votes from overseas as well. And because it's manual, uh, occasionally there are anomalies that are then rectified, um, and a very small number when they're pointed out. In this case, uh, there was nothing sinister or systemic, but you might just talk about that, Dr. Wilson, for a moment. Uh, so, Senator, on the, the question about votes moving, uh, it's important to note that Votes are originally counted on polling night to provide an indicative result that's put on the yep. AEC website, <coughs> and then a fresh scrutiny is undertaken in the week after polling day to be that very careful second check. Proper it count. is not unusual for votes to move as part of that. Uh, and then again, during the distribution of preferences. I understand with reference to the Cowper um, count that we have responded um, to, um, to your colleague and uh, that, that that matter has been, has been dealt with. We're happy to provide further yeah, details. It, it seemed uh, it opened quite a few eyes <clears throat> when we realised that the pre-poll booth, which was basically next door to the polling day booth, in the polling day booth, she got uh, nine or so percent. On the pre-poll booth, for two weeks, she got not one vote until she called up and got two more. And that seems very, very strange from that electorate, especially when both when the, when the Senate vote was roughly the same as the, as the polling day booth count. Important to note, though, that Senator, in, and we mentioned this in the response to the letter, uh, that uh, catchment for a pre-poll voting centre is typically much larger, potentially the whole division, um, for a pre-poll voting centre, whereas for a polling place on polling day, it's there's a much smaller geographical area of um, voters who come to that place. It's not unusual for us to see those sorts of differences in, in candidate um, vote numbers. So my understanding is that Faye, the candidate, was also told that owing to the use of regional pre-poll voting centres, which is what you're saying, her remaining votes at Port Macquarie West, we calculate around 400% using the same polling day booth uh, numbers. 400 One Nation votes are missing based on polling day result at the booth next door, and they were recorded against Kempsey pre-poll, which is of course an entirely different town. How accurate is the voting data reported by the Australian Electoral Commission when votes in our regional centres are shown against another town? Uh, Senator, as we indicated in the response to, to the letter, in the Cowper pre-poll voting centre counts... That's your last question, Senator Roberts. Two counts were amalgamated because they were undertaken in the same building in our counting centre in Port Macquarie. Uh, while this is not ideal, a balance... Uh, the figures show that there is a balance of votes and that all ballot papers were accounted for and reconciled with the number of ballot papers issued. And included in the count. Correct. Okay, Minister, um, the, sorry, uh, this I'm is my last question. Just well, Minister, you've the got two senators waiting to use the last eight minutes and you've had I just want to get 12. Put it on notice very quickly. I want, want the uh, Minister, the JSCAM uh, inquiry into the last election has received thousands of submissions, thousands, literally. 6,000, I think it's more than 6,000. Most are not being published or being published redacted. Minister, will you expand the JSM inquiry into the 2022 election to include all the submissions you have received, including my information today? I'm sure the Minister can take that on notice. Senator Antikin Patterson, go. 